<laughs> and this one goes on the roof. This is the race car, Wes! This is the race car! I grew up watching Roadkill on Motor Trend back when it was still a YouTube show. And one of the dreams that came from doing so was participating in the 24 Hours of Lemons. I remember watching them race the Rotson in that one episode, and I said, one day, I'm gonna do that. The 24 Hours of Lemons is a racing series that's a parody of the real 24 Hours of Le Mans, a brutal 24-hour race. Here, they race $500 cars, and they take racing slightly less seriously. My younger self would be applauding me now, because the day that he dreamed of has finally come. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you our Lemons race car. Here's how this all came to be. One night, a few weeks ago, I was at Tuning Tech FS in Crofton, Maryland with Frank, David, Wes, and a few other people. And right around 2.30 in the morning when we were all leaving, Lemons got brought up. And to say the least, Frank was intrigued. A few weeks goes by and me and my buddy Jason head down to Newport News, Virginia to take a look at what could be our race car. Oh, Look at this. dude, that's a race car. That is a race car. And I filmed nothing after that because we weren't sure we were going to get it. But sure enough, a couple days later, our race car was delivered to Tuning Tech FS, ready to be prepped. This is a 1998 Lexus LS 400. This car was a big deal for Lexus back in the day. It was literally used to launch the brand. It was meant to compete with the S-Class. And believe it or not, it did quite well, actually. These things were comically overbuilt from the factory. Over a billion dollars was spent developing it. They came with a V8 that made about 250 horsepower, and they were absolutely bulletproof. The most famous one, to my knowledge, is the Million Mile Lexus that Matt Farah owned for a little while. Original engine, original transmission, over a million miles, and it's still going. This one has 332,000 miles, and as you can see, it looks the part. We knew it needed an alternator because the car wouldn't start without a jump. It needed a ton of suspension work, a motor mount, and many other things. Because of all of that, I walked away with this car for a whopping $500 despite the $1,000 asking price. Which works out well because one of the rules for Lemons is your car cannot have a purchase price higher than $500. You have an unlimited budget on safety, but the car has to be a $500 car. Now, it was my job to get the car. Here's Frank's reaction, seeing and driving it for the first time. You wanna see if this thing can do a burnout? <laughs> not here. No, not here, but over there. Yeah, it'll yeah. do a burnout. That motherfucker burn out all day long. <laughs> you wanna go and try? Yeah. <laughs> 332,832. 332.832. That's a, we need to play that shit. That might be the winning lotto number. <laughs> but let me word. tell you something, we have enough weed seeds in here. Yeah. <laughs> forever okay <laughs> all we gotta do is just drop a match in there we'll be high the whole time <laughs> I, i'm i'm stoked i'm extremely excited dude it's twerky too yeah it shifts pretty well so you will uh quickly find out uh the oh, oh yeah it, it <laughs> might. that's a control arm <laughs> dude what are you talking about this takes ass oh my god hold on it's only spinning one! <laughs> oh, yeah! Dude! Can we weld the diff in this thing? Fucking right, we're gonna weld it. <laughs> this thing is fantastic! Dude, it's perfect. I told you these V8s are bomb proof. I don't care, it's got 300,000 miles on it. That's amazing. It gets warmed up. Then Frank and I started playing around with the interior controls of the car. I bet yeah. you the air conditioning works too. I bet you the AC is ice cold in this. He's shut. Dude, I bet you the AC is <laughs> ice cold in this. Bring the temp down. AC is <laughs> ice cold. It's Toyota, man. You ain't got no problem. Look. Go oh, on. yeah. Dude. <laughs> oh, my God. It's. It's actually, it's <laughs> really cool. Yeah. Uh, hey, is that a cassette player? Yeah. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I think I have some somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's got a tape player. Oh, it has CD. Oh, so it's got a CD. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, CD changer. Does it have anything in it? There it is. Oh, 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 oh what's in Oh, there's <laughs> more than one. Oh, okay. This is like ridiculous. This is all, look. Dude, this might be better than my Even old the electric, S class. Dude, this is, this is baller status. And I know what you're thinking, and I absolutely agree. 
This thing is way too nice for what we're doing. Dude, are you kidding? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, we have the extra change in here. Yeah. We, we, have, we have it all, dude. The f***ing cup holders. Dude, this is beyond baller stack. Yeah, and it, and I want- Dude, this I want, thing's gonna be we, fast. We need to find the, the fuse for the uh, sunroof. Yeah. Because I, I know the sunroof works. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind. It has rear air conditioning. Where did you find this car? Was it, it does seem to have been sitting in a swamp for a while. Newport News. I know, but like, is it in a swamp? 133,000 miles. <laughs> the wheels look like they've been freaking it was sitting inches for underwater. It was sitting for a while. Yes. <laughs> if you think you can get 330,000 out of your alpha. <laughs> <laughs> this joke right here. <laughs> this thing? Doesn't get any better than So we pulled the car inside so we could actually take a proper look at this car. And Frank very quickly found a solution to one of the bigger problems with the car. This is just like brand new. Basically, this is better than new and improved. Dude, we're golden. What? The battery cable was loose. The battery cable was loose? By the way, just a little bit about Frank. He's raced professionally for over 25 years. He owned South Florida Performance back in the day. And to say the least, he's built and raced some incredible cars. And besides that, he's also just one of the nicest and most down to earth people I've met in the car world. If I'm being honest, there really isn't anyone else I'd rather do this with. And he's also the only reason we have a chance in hell of finishing. So what made you say it had a loose battery connection? How could you tell? What? Uh, the cable is loose. Loose from the battery or loose from it? Loose right up here. Oh. Oh, we gonna need some more oil. Oh, does it need more? Oh yeah. It might not have had any oil in it at all. <laughs> <laughs> You're using the good stuff, huh? This Mobile One. So we got. We're, we're gonna mix some synthetic in there too. This is Are we just putting weed. random oil in the car? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously the interior here can use a wash folks and it's got kind of like a light green interior which actually looks kind of cool. If we look in here, you know, it's not it's not good, but it's not horrible. Now, one thing I think we've got to do, Frank, we've got to put this thing on the dyno. Absolutely. <laughs> we got to find out what this thing makes. I'm thinking right now, I think we should we should gut the interior. I think we should Great. Brakes. Wes thinks we should have brakes. I completely agree. I ordered an anchor. You didn't order an anchor. Well, We're just shipping one. I'm that shipping an anchor for my boat. What? <laughs> yeah, I have an extra anchor. And what are we using that for? I'm gonna hang it off the trunk. Oh. With a, with a rope. All right. Pull forward. Okay. And if we really need to stop, <laughs> we're gonna truck the anchor. Okay. You think I'm kidding, I'm not. Now, could you explain to me the missile? Because you told me that's the nickname of this vehicle already, yeah. and you sent me a great photo, but could you just show me what this missile is? A uh, World War II missile. A real world, what's it from though? World War II. Was Ooh, it, what is it from? Well, I mean like, is it from a plane? Yeah, is it, they used to hang off the bottom of a plane, and that's what they used to drop. That's wild. The missile goes on the roof. But folks, I'd say this is kind of the beginning of the prep for this car for Lemons. You know, the race that we're gonna be doing is the one that's in October. Uh, October, I think, 19th and 20th. I'll put the date on screen. But it's the one that's coming up in uh, New Hampshire. I think it's like Loudon Raceway or something. But folks, this is kind of the beginning of the build series for this car. You know, we've got, like I said, we've got to get some general maintenance done on it. We've got to, I mean, a windshield. We've got to pull the seats out. Like we want to gut the interior, roll cage. Like all that stuff I'm going to document here and turn into a cool video series and show you guys. Um, and also just show like what goes into prepping a Lemons car. I know that there's other series on YouTube, people doing similar things, but like for me, it's it's always been a dream to do and you know, doing this with Frank, it's like, it's gonna be amazing because I would never be able to do this myself. So comment below what you'd like to see done to the car. You know, we need a theme, like we, something to do with a missile because we have a missile, but something to do, we, we need a theme regardless. So comment below what you think would be a good idea. But this is gonna be cool. This is gonna be really, really cool. And this thing rips. <laughs> and turns out, our LS400 happens to have a supercharger. Oh. <laughs> you hear that little charger? 
it sounds like a supercharger now. You hear that whipple? Oh yeah, dude. It's a whipple. It's a whipple. <laughs> <laughs> like a race car. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna win. We're gonna win. <laughs> We've already won. <laughs> We have already won. Yes. We've, <laughs> we've already won. Yeah, this was such a good idea. I don't know if it's a good idea or a bad one. We're going to figure it out yeah. one way or the other. So, Frank, do you think that we will finish in this vehicle? 100%. Okay. Even if we got to push it, we're going to finish. We fixed the loose battery cable, charged the battery up, put almost four quarts of oil in it, and added some more power steering fluid. Because the car was now basically restored, it was time to see how it would do in a straight line and if it would do donuts. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right. I'm excited. Wes, you're, gonna, you're riding in a real vehicle now. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Floor, baby, here we go. Look at that kick down. Look at it go. Look at it go. The freaking glove box over. The <laughs> glove box. Look at it go. This is a race car, Wes! This is a race car! Imagine. It has 332,000 miles. Imagine how fast this would be <laughs> if we turned off the AC. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh. It was stuck in first. I could I couldn't figure I thought it was just roasting the tire. It was just stuck in first. Yeah, so after doing this, we figured out we need to weld the diff, but the other thing was we had to pull some fuse for the rollover protection because this thing, even when it got close to getting out, it wouldn't do it. It would cut power. Didn't stop me from trying again though. And little did I know that I actually broke something doing this. I think she's smoking a bit. I can smell the transmission fluid all the way out here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's trans. Holy shit! Yeah, we're leaking a lot of trans fluid. That's right. Probably popped the hose off. Oops. So we're getting ready to take a thumbnail photo, and we're just moving the car as we got the Beamer. We're moving the E92 M3. We had to move the Hellcat, and we're gonna move this baby into the spotlight, so we can get a nice photo over there. But something we have noticed is probably the reason that uh, me doing a burnout not work out too well because this thing is puking tranny fluid. And that is 100% my fault. Oh my God, look at that. It is, oh my God, it's really going. So that's our Lemons car. What you'll see next here is the build out of the car and everything that goes into getting this thing ready to race. In order to register though, we do need a theme. So please comment some good theme ideas so we can get accepted. Whoever's name we pick, we'll put your name on the car. But now it's time we take a thumbnail photo. Yeah. 